Welcome to Excel Formula Efficiency Series number 12. This is a series where we see how to build fast calculating formulas for big spreadsheets. And if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Formula Efficiency Series. Hey, this is our last video in the series, and here it is. Here's a list of the functions we've been looking at. Sum if array, sum array. Well, let's look at them. There's the sum with an if, and the funny thing is, in the earlier versions, if you did uh, multiple condition summing and you used the wizard, this is uh, the f format that they use for their array formula. I want you to also notice, notice here that we use the text function uh, for one of the criteria to determine day out of a bunch of dates. I'm going to click Escape, Escape. And then sum array, we saw uh, this one earlier. My uh, spreadsheet is not working here. Uh, and there it is, that formula there. And we use text again. I'm going to click Escape. Oh, and then we use sum product with multiplication. Multiplication. And we're going to time all these. We, ha we use the text to determine date. And then we sum product with double negative. We used D sum. And we use sum ifs. And what I did, if I scroll this down, there are six criteria here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And over here is our database. And guess what? This one is the biggest one we've seen so far. If I control down arrow, this is 55,000 rows. I'm going to control home to go all the way back up to uh, A1. Now, what we want to notice is a few things here. When I timed all of these, um, I took the times and then I took the average, which is the way you should do it. And then I compared all of these to the minimum. Look at this. Sum ifs um, is the minimum. So sum ifs in 2007 is uh, the fastest if we're summing with six criteria, according to how I measured everything here. D, D sum, which is a database function. Uh, was 7% greater. But look at this. Sum with a double negative was 319%. Uh, uh, took 319% longer to calculate. D with multiplication, 223. Sum array, 327. And finally, sum if the, f the uh, formula array formula construct we used to get from the wizard was 373% times faster. Now, notice that, um, as we mentioned earlier, if you compare multiplying and double negatives for sum if, Right? The double negative really is faster when you get big, huge uh, formulas, six criteria, 50,000 rows. Uh, and the sum array is slower than the sum product. So that's why you see the double negative a lot, especially when it gets pretty big. Uh, D sum, um, if you don't have earlier versions and you have a database, that's what you should be using. Now, I did two other tricks to make these much faster. Uh, notice up here, I use the text to uh, decipher Monday. And if I scroll over here, straight from the dates, right? But now look at this. I added a helper column, which we talked about earlier here. And I used weekday. Now I, I actually used text function, and, and it, it had it equal to MON. But that took a lot longer to calculate than weekday. And so weekday pops out a 7 if it's Sunday and a 1 if it's Monday. So the helper column was important here. Um, in how we configured it, because we could have configured it in a number of ways. So these two have weekday, and they're by far the fastest. So as a result, we just got uh, a bunch of formulas that are much faster. So that's it uh, for this series, uh, Excel Formula Efficiencies. If you have big spreadsheets, I hope you enjoyed some of these tricks, but don't forget, I only covered a few of these tricks. You got to go read this link up here, this Microsoft.com 40 page. And it has the, the uh, in fact, I'll click on this. And I got to go all the way to the bottom here. Uh, control end. And uh, this guy, there, where is it? Control end. Additional about the author Charles Williams from Decision Models in 1996. Uh, so he's the guy who authored this and, and did these studies. And some of the things I did in this one uh, paralleled what he said exactly. Absolutely amazing. So if you got big spreadsheets, go read that. And otherwise, we will uh, see you next Excel Tricks.